Okay, so welcome to this next video for Comp 3218, uh, Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. Uh, my name's Dave Millard, I'm one of the lecturers on the course, and I'm here with... Adrian Chapman, another lecturer on the course. I'm Tom Blau, I'm also a lecturer on the course. And I'm Max, a demonstrator on the course. Brilliant. So, uh, I think we've got three games to look at in uh, this video, but before we do... Ooh, um, that's right. Tom, do you want to say a little bit about what, your, what we were expecting the students to do? Uh, yeah, so for this coursework we asked our students to develop a small game prototype uh, in which it had a strong core dynamic and we also asked them to produce some way of tutorialising that to the player. Brilliant, okay. So let's have a look at the first one. So what's, the, what's, the, what's this one called? This one is called Rebounce. Rebounce, brilliant. Rebounce. Let's see if we can maximise this once it loads. There we go. Okay. All right, so we have a basketball and we have so some controls. A and D. So uh, no W okay. on this one. <laughs> so it disappears when you go over here. And also, yeah. the A goes on top of the ball, but the rest of it goes behind. Uh, yeah. So that, uh, that, yeah. That, that, that is a thing that happens with text in Unity. That is true. It, it turns out it's actually quite tricky to... Uh, oh, 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 oh that. I love that they draw it in like that. That I like. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is a. The jump feels a little bit weird. So is it a, a space jump, isn't it? It so is. The ball feels very heavy as well. Like yeah, it's, it's, it's seems, dropping really quick, isn't it? For a game called Rebounce, it doesn't really bounce a lot. I wonder if they've adjusted gravity, whether it's real gravity. Or it's just a really heavy ball. It looks really nice though, it, it looks does. really it's fluid. Really. Say, other than the jack feeling a bit heavy, it, it does control really nicely. Oh, and, and I'm the, good again. Oh, that's, oh, uh, come on. You're not going to fit in that. Very cute. And the, um, the actual look of it is very good. So I, I think the look and feel of it and the, um, the, the, the camera movement, uh, the way that it, it, the perspective changes, and that, that all works really, really nicely. I like that they signpost so that you should not fall down the pits. Yes. I would have explored now. it. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm sure we're going to find out at some point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit late for the uh, for the sound effect, but oh, that's cute. It does feel like the jumping goes straight. Down it does. Yeah. It, it does. I, I said, I wonder whether. You know, so normally, it, it, it's a good idea to set gravity a bit lower than normal, isn't it? So in a lot of these um, platformers, we have found that the jumping feels a little bit floaty. So maybe they've been sort of maybe they've tried to compensate for some of that a little bit, which yeah. may have overdone it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> At least they've checkpointed you, and we don't have to go back to the very beginning. That's, That's true. true. So we've had a couple of other games that have put the the kind of instructions into the scene, but I don't think I've seen one that's integrated it quite the same way with the kind of showing the trajectories and mm -mm. go this way and that kind of uh, stuff. So I think we, we did have a couple in that uh, it might have been one of the ones that you weren't. Ah, uh, okay. Please. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were warned. I sure was. I feel like they weren't that clear. Although they were red, they just looked like ramps. Yeah, no, I, I was going to say, and they didn't actually warn you, they just said jump over it. Yeah. And you've been told to jump over bro blocks which don't kill you. Yeah, I mean the red, the spikes. It's it's more the jump that I'm a little bit. Ooh, that was tough. Uh, so at least the instructions are so the the little sort of para parabola they've drawn is yeah. actually where I should be jumping, which is nice. Yes. So, so what does the <laughs> those I don't know to stop you jumping, jumping after that from one. there. Yeah. But there's no no reason to yeah. to jump there. Oh, round. See, that feels very heavy because it just gets to the end of the ramp and stops. Uh, oh, that looks uh, oh. <laughs> a bit too early. It would have been nice to have a checkpoint a little bit later, <laughs> maybe after the initial jumpings. Yeah. Before the next learning of red <laughs> points of death. I, I wonder whether it would just. It, it is just the weight of the ball doesn't match its visual, right? Yeah. yeah. So you expect there to be some bounce and you expect there to be a little bit of float. If it was a steel ball. <laughs> Like, yeah, or like a marble, like a marble. And, and if when you landed it went clunk. It does, yeah. it does really drop straight down, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. it's a basketball. And there's no, there's almost no bounce at all. Between purposes and balance. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, it's, it is worth saying, actually, we haven't gone to Mexico yet, but yeah, we, it is worth saying that we have given this to our our platform Supremo. <laughs> So if you can't do it, then no one can. Uh, you, you, you take the helmet. I'm going to be terrible. Max. Off the game. Um, so in terms of the, the overall quality of the game, I, I mean, I, I think it's, it's great. Quite yeah. nice. it's, it's got a sort of very like simplistic, minimal We didn't see that. Console, but, <laughs> but that's it. It all fits together really nicely. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. Um, and, it, and it's very, very consistent in its look and feel. Yes. Like um, the, little, the sound effects are nice when you jump yeah. and you inevitably fall down. Yeah. Um, there, like I said, there is a mismatch, I think, between the visualisation of the ball and the sound of the ball and its behaviour, Yeah, which is a shame. But, um, but other than that, uh, very nice. And it, and it looks like it's quite nice to control, actually. Yeah, other than the jump being a little bit weird, the sort of controls do feel sort of very nice. Very, like, sort of, um, they work together quite tightly. So because it's a ball, you'd expect it to have some momentum left yeah. and right, does it? Uh, I think it does a little bit. I mean, a little, little bit. Like so, exactly, just enough to make it feel yeah. that yeah, there is some, but not but, enough. But to it's be interesting. Hey, some of the other things we've played, it, whether that's been the case, but because they haven't been, they haven't been rolling. Yeah. It's felt slidey. Oh, um, you got to keep moving so, and jump. Yeah. Um, so what about the the tutorial elements then? Um, so it introduced um, sort of the control, like uh, the controls, sort of nice and simply at first. It was just hit left and right, to make sure you can get to the next bit, and then it introduced some sort of safe jumps to practice on. Yeah. Uh, before it started introducing these other elements. Yeah. So it's introduced them well, and I like the fact that it's got the instructions in the environment. I'm not so sure have they actually used the the, the environment to teach the mechanics though. Um, I mean, like they they have obviously they. You have to jump over these things to progress. But so like the spikes, for example, I'm not sure whether they've. <laughs> whether they've done anything to like introduce those. Or, um, and at the moment, I guess we haven't seen that many complex elements, mainly because it appears to be difficult. So I, I do like this part where you've got sort of the, you know, the traditional bottomless pits, but then they sort of change the jumping around a little bit so that you've got these different platforms to go to. Right. It's just a slightly different shape of level. Yeah. Um, I quite like that the, they do do things with the spikes, I guess, where they introduce the spikes on the flat and then they introduce them at the bottom of the slope. So they're, they're, they're ramping up the difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what did they say their core dynamic was? Uh, the core dynamic for this was spatial reasoning. Now, interestingly, in parentheses, they then say exploration collection, but we haven't seen anything to collect no. yet. So possibly we're not far enough. Yeah. So no uh, pressure. So and again, <laughs> again, we've seen quite a few games where actually it's been quite difficult to progress through the tutorial levels, um, and I suspect that's because they've been playtesting their own game and got very good at it. Yeah. Um, and they don't realise quite how difficult it is. I and mean, there's nothing wrong with having a, a difficult oh, game. Uh, oh, 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 come oh, on! Oh, oh. Seriously? <laughs> ah, that's interesting. So they're using the, they're telling you to go down between there. But well, what's that way? Probably a bottomless yeah. pit. Oh no, that's where you came up. With so that's that's kind of not an instruction as to, as uh, to how to control. Oh, so close. So close. It's an instruction as how to end. Just So, that's, so one of the things we've seen in other platforms is where they've had sort of uh, blind jumps like that. So yeah. at least it is signposted that's to say, true. no, it's okay, this is the way you're supposed yeah. to go. Um, are we happy with spatial reasoning as, a, as, a, as the main...? Yeah, I think so. It's, you're navigating your way through this space. There's, I mean, there doesn't seem to be any sort of time pressure on it. It's not a race to the end. No. It, we've not seen any collection elements yet, but the fact that they've mentioned it means there's probably just a bit of the game we've not got to yet. Ah. Ah. Yeah. But so yeah, a couple we, more checkpoints here would have been nice. So, so like breaking up this level structure a little bit. So even putting uh, putting the that, goal. Whoop. It's that bit at the top, isn't it? It's that mm -hmm. slope. You want to you want a checkpoint. Right. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 red, the red spikes of doom come in. Like I said, I, I, there's nothing wrong with having a difficult game. Yeah. But the tutorial levels probably shouldn't be that so, uh, that's the, It's it's totally fine having a really difficult game. And if this was sort of a full game, this would actually be a reasonable level, perhaps. Yeah. But because this is a prototype and you're trying to showcase all the elements you've put in it, yeah. you really need to make sure that whoever's playing it can see all those elements. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, but all the mechanics do point in the direction they've said. Mm -hmm. um, so what's the other two? They said collection and... Exploration collection. However, they say the collection aspect taps into the human need to collect resources to achieve a goal which comes naturally when combined with the game's purpose of unlocking the basketball hoop. So I think even that one is a tenuous stretch. So, um, I'm not sure we will collect anything within the game. Okay. So do you think they actually mean collecting the basketball hoop? I think they might be that you're going through the. And levels. also, there's yes. no real exploration here, is there? There's no. Oh no, it's a very linear. Well, you're not. You're not. You're right. not even really. Right. You're not even getting rewarded for. Yes. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Good job. Uh, you're not even getting rewarded for um, for for looking around. There's no. No. Um, so we are on level two now. Does that mean we have finished the tutorials? Oh, which way do we go? Oh, you are too ah, small. Ah, okay. You are too small to jump over. So we need to do something. We need to get big. Pause any time to attack. Okay, nice. Strange time to introduce. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's, oh, a there's, there's a pump. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's very clever. Oh. Um, okay, so there's actually yes. there there this whole extra mechanic that we have. Yep. Nope, to. too small to jump. So that's that's nice. I like that a lot. I, I enjoy that. Um, and the pump matches very well with with, with the way it works. It's even we, you know, especially with the hint they gave us before, it was pretty obvious what was going to happen. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oops. Oh. To get small, must get small. So that's quite oh, nice because you so, because you have to go small to get through the thing. That's yeah. quite cute. Still a little bit too big. So you want to be as big as you can be. Yeah. So now the reason for being an inflatable ball actually make a lot more make sense. A lot more sense. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, that's interesting. Oh, interesting. Well, actually, actually, there it looks like there's multiple ways you could have gotten there. So there is a bit of exploration. Yeah. Okay. I like that mechanic. I do that's too. Cute. I'm not sure what the point of the first. Oh, okay, here we go. Unlock oh, the door by collecting yeah, the true. items. So we are a we are a basketball and we're collecting some shoes. So this is the collection. Yes. <laughs> okay. And I guess also the exploration because you have to find now, the now you've got to look around. So okay, so now so it's tying together a little bit more. Whoop. Yeah. Can we lose all the items if we die? Oh, oh god, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, when you're exploring in that way, it does seem a little bit strange. Whoop, there you go. But um, when you get to the bottom. There's no real indication that you are a small. Yeah. Other really. than the exploration mark. It might have been nice if there'd been some Yeah, that this is not a way you could just fall. Can you get back up? Oh there we go. Go over this way. So you've got to get small again to <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck now. Oh Um Yep, we're stuck. Oh dear. Oh, okay. You but you don't have your shirt anymore. No. Whoa. Whoa! Really? That seems... That's a bit mean. And you don't have your pants anymore. So, I really like this, but it, there's just some... some kind of niggly things about it, isn't it? And I, and I, and I think it's just some of those odd consistencies. So, like we said, the, the, the behaviour of the ball with its appearance. Um, yeah. The fact that the checkpoint is not quite in the right place, so it gets yeah. frustrating fast. But I mean, these are kind of niggles that I mm -hmm. think with playtesting, you could really sort out. Yes. Um, overall, I think they've done a very, very nice job. Okay, should we move on to the next one? Yep, let's move on. Okay, so what's our next game? I, our next game is called... Uh, actually, I'm not sure what our next game is called. It just has game notes on it. It's not the game. So we, we asked all the students to hand in some game notes explaining a little bit about their game. It's interesting how many people didn't say what their game was called or put their name on their Ooh, game notes. There we go. Supposedly there's a chicken in the game. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, let's let's just give that a refresh and see if that helps. Yeah, sometimes it... Sometimes it does, if not we can try it. Again. Yeah. Okay. 
reminds me of oh, here we wanting go. a PlayStation disc to spin and start. Mm -hmm. Maybe. All right, so it looks like it looks like we've got a problem. Yeah, well, let's see if we can get in there. Let's try Unity. Okay, so we've managed to get it loaded up into Unity. So let's play it in the uh, Unity editor and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so we've got some nice jaunty music. <laughs> Uh, it looks like there's, there's sort of no yeah. reference exception there in the bottom, which might have been causing some of the problems. I still space, don't space actually know what it's called. Uh oh. Space adjustment. Oh, I'm done. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Triple oh, yeah. press for higher. Triple press for really higher. Pick up the coin. Jump to avoid the wolf. It's always good advice. It's very angry. Are you actually jumping or are you flying? Flying, I guess. Is it kind of fluffy bird? It does feel very fluffy bird, yeah. It's got a very upbeat and jaunty track, so I'm going to turn the volume down a bit. So yeah. What happens if you sit there so long with the blocks? Is it? I think we probably lose. Is it, is it me, or is it a bit when? odd having a platform endless runner that you can fly? A little bit, yeah. I, I, would, I might expect something which is more like kind of hoops or kind of like. Interesting. So if I, if I don't make the jump, yeah. then I get stuck in a block. And the blocks don't fall down anymore, and right. then I can just. Is there a point yeah. of the blocks that you just fly above everything? So I think I've got limited jumps, but I also don't. I can't find out what happens many. if I don't jump because as soon as I stop moving, I get stuck and things stop falling away. So when you say you've got limited jumps, so if I keep tapping jump, yeah, I can't. Oh no, I can. I can just keep smashing space forever. I mean, is there is there yeah. a point of the blocks falling at all? Because the wolves don't. Yeah. No, and the blocks don't actually. What happens if you drop below the level of a block? You go well, in a I, hole. I, if you go in a hole. Before, right. like, yeah. Well, if you, if I, you collected that coin and then went down further. Yeah, so dive through that. Wow. Dive, dive. Okay, because you can't fall far. So what happens if I hit a wolf? Oh, stuck again. You just. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, game, game over. over. Over 50. Oh, okay. So there is a point in not lot. just mashing space. You have to get five coins. Yeah. All right. So okay. I, I still find it odd that there's a, yes. a, a block landscape that looks like you jump across it and they fall away underneath you, and yet you're flying. Uh, there's there's no real challenge because. No, you can just. You, I guess you do sing bang. So, kind of so, so I've got I've got to avoid the wolves, but that's fairly trivial because I can just hammer but, the spacebar. But I mean, although it's got a three D aspect to it, this is basically the control system of Flappy Bird, right? Yeah. So, and, and the reason that works is because it's about making your way through holes of different heights. If, if you imagine changing the level of that game round so they were underneath you, it'd be, well, it wouldn't be a game anymore. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the problem here. They needed to have Holes and doors and things you had to get through. Well, it's, maybe there'll be some in the in the next level. Yeah. But... <coughs> oh no, we're back. Did I press R instead of M? Uh, no, it looks like a different level. Right? Uh, it's... This is the very first one. You're back at the first. Uh, okay. so, so they said press R to restart and M to M to next level. I think so. We might have just pressed the wrong button. Okay. Well, let's let's yeah. see a chance. Let's... <clears throat> so we talk about the the general kind of look and feel and the quality of it. So, uh, how did the controls feel? Is it uh, flat and up and up and up? I mean, it's difficult to say because the space. I mean, you only go up a little bit. So the sound is nice. It sort of gives a little sort yeah. of yes. You would definitely press the jump button feel to it. I but. I I don't I, I quite like. I have to say, although it, I, I I wish they put a, a decent skybox in. Yeah, that would be a very simple thing to do that made it loads better. But other than that, the, the actual, I mean, yeah. it's blocky, but it's consistent. The wolves aren't. Apart from the wolves. Yes. What do you think um, about the camera angle? Going on sort of so diagonal instead of just side on. I it, don't mind or... it, except for the tutorial text that was also side on. Yeah. Yeah. And actually looking at the little chicken, although he's just made up of, of little animated blocks, that's actually fairly effective as a yeah. character. Mm -hmm. I like that. <clears throat> um, if, if the... the the blocks, if they were coins, that seems odd. It would have been nice just to make, why not just make them slightly smaller and make them little spinny gems or something. Birdseed. Yeah, birdseed, perfect. There we go. See, they might not go have with your theme. It, 
does just take you back to the start. So this is a two level piece. Yeah. And they've introduced all of the controls for you. Well, they say double press space, but they don't mention that I can just keep doing this. Yeah. Whenever. And they don't mention the notion that you have to get a certain number of coins to no. finish. Which is a shame. Because it, again, it would be easy to do it. You just need a, a, a minimum, you just need a slash, slash 40 in yeah. the corner. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's loads of nice things you could do. I mean, it, this feels to me like you could you could make this into quite a cute little game. Yeah, something but quite simple a, and quite quite effective. Yeah, but the minute you need, a, just you need a different kind of level design for it, and you need to. Need to so this is where we learn that you, you have to win, win. but press out to restart. Yeah, yeah, I get fifty to do that one. Yeah. So, you can, so and you can still press M to just skip it. Okay. So just and hide you, the. You kept uh, pushing M and it skipped between the levels. Oh yeah, oh, so really? M just that... toggles the levels. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> so so not 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 quite supported by the logic. Um, so in terms of the tutorial, I mean it is there, um, but it's it's very very simple, um, and they're not again the level design is a real problem because they yeah. they you know it's, they're really not using it to um, um, yeah. I'm they're... not sure why I care. Like the mechanics in this don't make me care about the game. No. Well, I think it's because that because you, you can just fly yes. above it, so yes. your interaction with the level is really minimal, um, and that's a problem for playability. But it's also a problem for tutorial because there's no incentive to do anything, yeah. and therefore there's no way to encourage people to explore the controls and learn how the game works. Um, and I say it's a shame because I think it, it's got a lot of potential. Actually, it's a cute little block-based, uh, yeah, flapping birds type thing. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, the core dynamic was... Um, so the core dynamic, in their brief, they don't name one, but they mention that there is a collection aspect to the game. Um, yep. Now, interestingly, it does later say there's also a bit of destruction in that, in that the player needs to defeat the upcoming enemies for survival and race to the end. Um, given we've only seen two levels and we've yeah. not yet seen any enemies to defeat just fly over. Um, I mean, the same with the race to the end, right? We're moving at a fixed speed. Yeah. Yeah, there is no race. Yeah. So again, I, I think one of the, the big one of the big misunderstandings about the, the, the core dynamic request here wasn't to, wasn't to try and identify all the different bits of your game that fit. It was to say, build a game around a single core dynamic and yeah. try and make sure all the mechanics put in that direction. So what, what is the bit of your game that is the fun bit? Yeah, what is the thing? And, and here, I guess, it would be... Um, I guess collection. Collection. But that that would mean you'd have to make the collecting thing more of a challenge. You'd have to use the levels to yeah. kind of set that up as a difficulty. Maybe give them difficult choices at some points. Yeah. Yeah. So you you know go high or go low for different types of reward. Yeah. Um, uh, and you know the other mechanics they mention there really isn't as you said. There's no race to the end. There's no destruction element. Um, and in one sense that's good because they don't distract. But From it's that. a bit worrying that they think that they're there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, should we move on? Yeah, sure. let's move on. Just want to finish this up. <laughs> <laughs> I have some assistance. 50. It was 50, right? Yep. Oh. I was not near that. Yes, <laughs> So this okay. game is Zombie Survival Shooter. Aha! It's the beta version. Yep. Okay. okay. Zombie Survival. Sorry, drum roll, please. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Play. So, well, at least it's obvious at this point what to do. It's a, it's, yeah, it's a little bit of a sparse main menu, but it's there. Aha. Okay. So I very narrowly went for WASD, and it turns out they still work. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to keep using those. So, I'm so, not quite sure why they, they've gone green. But they went, was, you've done them. Yeah. yeah, but they didn't get green when you pressed them. They went green when you walked went over them. But, yeah. So we've got a little tap. Yeah, yeah. So, so I can shoot over there. Oh, there's yeah. no gunshots. That's a bit disappointing. And the bullets are quite hard to see, actually. Aren't they? Oh, they're all so bullets. Yeah, so we've got to shoot that target to get through here. Is there no audio? Whoop! Oh, zombie. That was so, unexpected. So and why? You've opened, you, you've opened a chest. Could, could you... Over by the target, there's something that you could possibly walk over and collect. What is that? So that that's a window. No, no, no. on oh, the target. Oh, that's the oh, mouse. That's the, that's the left oh, the mouse. mouse thing. Thank you so much. So what happened then is it looked like you opened a chest, I you collected it. something, 
collected well, it's, it's pistol, pistol ammo, pistol. health. But it wasn't immediately obvious that happened. And it particularly wasn't obvious because a zombie immediately attacked you. Mm. Um, and then you had a, a, a thing of water that which, looked like you couldn't cross it. But it turns out it just slows you down. Which, well, so on the one hand, it does look like a permanent, uh, like a sort of a barrier yeah. that we couldn't possibly get across. But the fact that they do make you go over that's it true. shows that, okay, so water you, slows you, you down. That consequence. Is that water or is it like a rug? <laughs> Look, that, that's, that's oh, a hole. That yeah. one is a hole, it turns out. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought that was a wall. Yeah. Uh, and now I don't know how to continue. Can I get out of the hole? No, I think yeah, you space. died. You need a restart, but we really haven't implemented one. So we'll use the classic restart method of reloading the game. So if, yeah, if. So it's not terrible to kill the player during the tutorial, but if you're not going to account for the fact that that might happen, that's... Yeah, yeah you ought to have some sort of restart. So I still find it very odd right. that you've okay, got these so things that you have to make go green. So the other thing is, it says, here it's arrow keys, in the bottom right it says, which I was over here at the start, so you can't actually see it. No, that's true. It says, use WASD to move and mouse to shoot. And then it doesn't say what... There's no feedback as to why. Okay, so I can't, I can't get through here until everything's gone green. Until I've got those things, but I've demonstrated that I can use the movement controls without. I suppose they give I, you a. I, I, yeah, I. They, 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 they should have been something, right? So. The zombie. Oh. Yep, he is still there. And that door so, closed. so maybe if the door had had five green lights on it, and every time you activated one, one of the lights went off. They, they're just missing feedback, basically, yeah. aren't they, to tell you what on earth's going on. And also, the top button was red, but the others were white. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's an inconsistency there as well. Uh, so try not to step in. But I mean, at this point, you've learnt there's a door. So oh, no, zombies fall in the pit. That's interesting. So, so again, they've, there. they've tried to show yeah. that this is bad by having the zombies fall into it. Yeah. But last time, I was a little bit too quick. For and they've also showed you successfully that you can you can lure the zombies into the pit. Okay, so I've got a key now. But again, that feedback is sort of tucked away. Yeah, that. A bit. that I. I the, the problem it doesn't it doesn't seem to be the tutorial. It's actually the the, the information. Yeah, it's yeah. Right. I'm sure actually read it in mm. contrast. Yeah. This shotgun is not as powerful as I was hoping it would be. Whoa! Whoa. What are those things? They are half zombies. That's I'm going back to the pistol. This is that's interesting. So again, you expect a shotgun to be powerful at short range. Yeah. Um, and you'd also expect them to give you it at a point where you would find it really useful. So actually they've done that, they've given you the shotgun at the point where you get mobbed by a load of tiny enemies and a shotgun would be really useful, but there's, it turns out the shotgun's useless at it, which is a shame. And I don't think you had a chance I to actually... I'm shooting over its hitbox. Oh no, there we go. I was a bit worried there, that it, but it was under my gun and I was stuck shooting over its hitbox. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of feedback that the enemies are being hit, or even what I'm supposed to be doing or where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, he's a, no. he's a very bloody one. So he's a good one. That's good. Shotgun, really good. See, there's absolutely no feedback that that's hitting at all. No, because you, 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 you can just about see the bullets for your, your normal pistol. But the, a health bot might be in there. Like a bullet yeah. Oh, over the end of yeah. yeah, or something. Or flashing around. Did they actually teach you how to change your bombs? They didn't, but it is in the bottom here, so. So I, have, I haven't actually seen, how do you change the guns? One, yeah. two, and three. He's doing it very intuitively. Oh, because they're labelled. I have to say, I would not, I'd be sat here I like would. an idiot Me going, too. going, how do you use these guns? This is Stand ridiculous. Yeah, I would be stuck controls. with just one gun. I, it's, it may be standard well, FPS on, was, controls for you, but last time I played an FPS seriously was like 1995. Uh, <laughs> whoa, big thing. Right. <clears throat> I've got no ammo. It's really difficult for me to tell that I've got no ammo because I can't see the bullet whether the bullets are coming yeah. out or not. What's the you got? Oh, okay, because you're now firing. Yeah. And you got actually yeah. Now I now I'm out of ammo. One. No, you still got that pistol ammo. There you go. Yeah. Oh, there's a chest up there. Let's see, yeah. see if I can trick in behind one of these things. So I mean, it is it is um it is clearly playable. Yeah. I mean, it's um. Ooh, Ooh, there. Oh wow! But is he I, killable? I think, I think you've done. So that's quite that's quite nice the, that they've uh, made there sure you've got the resources. I know. What you do. I think that maybe I am a winner. I was definitely a, that definitely had a final boss yeah, fight. Yeah, that definitely it. was a boss. Can you go back out? Nope. Oh, Doors shut. 
which is interesting because I picked up the key for this door to get through, but now it's locked yeah. behind me. Oh, there's a chest on this. So what do you think about the, the overall quality of it? Um, so the... There, there's, there's a lot to like. Yeah, it's, it's put together very nicely. It's just missing that feedback that's the, yeah. that's the real um, issue. I, I, I think part of the problem is when you play something like that, if there's anything missing, yes. then you tend to concentrate on it because yeah. it, it bugs you. I feel like a little bit of audio would have gone along. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and again, might have, might have really helped with some of those feedback things. Yeah. Like even if, they, even if they were a noise when they, when they got shot. And, but I mean, the look and feel is really so nice. The look and feel is very nice. I will say too, I, I mean, they did introduce things, I think, in the right order, but I'm not sure if it was a tutorial level or if it was just a level. So this is essentially yeah. the only tutorial where you can shoot and you can go right left and center. Um, well, I can't, I, yeah, I mean, I quite like the fact they've integrated it in. I don't know. So yeah, the um, so the the pit. They definitely tried to introduce that through gameplay yeah. by having the pit and then having zombies fall into it. Though I will say there are no other pits in the game. So yeah. Um, I mean, and I, I think they they just missed a trick by doing things like there, where you picked up, we have the chest, and like you go in, and you don't see the zombie, so you go and grab the chest. At which point you attack by the zombie. So so the whole notion of what's caused the zombie to appear, and you're distracted from picking anything else up, the fact you pick something up, and then also the fact that the you know you've got this feedback in the bottom left hand corner, um, it's hard to see anyway. So so there's some mistake there, um, but. I, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's quite a lot in here. You've got multiple weapons. It's, it's a multiple. decent sized level. Different types of enemies. You've got the, the boss at the end. You've got the, the whole pickup and the of, of the uh, of the items, uh, the keys and the doors. So I said, there's there's a, there's a lot to like. Um, so the tutorial part then, quite simple, but that's because the the controls are like relatively simple. They've shown you the controls, and I think the rest yeah. of it they do try and sort of teach you through some of the level design. It's just yeah. like you say, so particularly with that sort of early zombie, the level design is pulling in a couple of different directions at once. So just then, yeah. I pulled the, my camera I think, to the left. Yeah. As the zombie appeared on the board. Yeah. So I was side. over there getting attacked by zombies. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. What a bit stuck. So I think, I think the real problem they've got is they've they've tried to do what you're supposed to do with the tutorial, which is to use the game to teach you, yeah. how, you know, the mechanics and, and, and how it works. But the game has problems in actually giving you feedback about what's going on, and therefore that makes its ability to actually teach you the mechanics quite um, you know, quite limited. Um, and that's that's an interesting problem actually. Um, uh, Yeah, what did they, what did they say? What did they survival. Say? Interesting. Mm -hmm. So I I would disagree with that quite no. strongly. Yeah. It, yeah. It, you're not really trying to survive. It, we're we're it, going to kill this guy in this nice happy home. Yeah. That's it. So I mean, it feels to me like it's destruction with elements of exploration. Yeah. So um, survival games tend to have this notion of a resource that is constantly ticking down. While we have health and we have ammo that we're using up, it's, it's not constantly ticking down. There's no feeling of prolonging the inevitable and just trying to survive as long as we possibly can. We're using right. these resources to destroy stuff. That's the whole focus of this game. Yeah. Now, interestingly, if they could that possibly be a tweak that if they gave us less ammo um, or the health bar went down faster, that that could actually change that to be a better match to the core dynamic. So you, you could only shoot once or twice with that pistol. I, I still say that just becomes a, a slightly harder destruction game because the focus is go and destroy these things. So it's slightly difficult to judge because they don't have this winning screen when we defeat the boss. But I imagine the goal is destroy the box. Yeah. Yeah. If it was a case of, but well, you're you're in this level and zombies are constantly spawning everywhere, yeah. and you've got to run around and like, gather what supplies you can. That would make it survival. And you know, and maybe you could have. You know, Resources spawning in different places, and you've got to traverse across the level in order to get to the other respawn points. Yeah, but then then it then it changes, doesn't it? Um, they uh, they do state that they they tested against themselves and non experienced gamers, and then calculated the damage and difficulties, and then put excess ammo and yeah. health because it was tutorial. I mean, it's certainly not. It, it, it looks playable, and it, it is not too difficult, right? So they do. They do. They do a good job of sort of sh uh, showing off the mechanics that they've put into the game. Yes. Which is nice. Yeah. 
So, and, and actually, if they had said our primary, our core dynamic is, is, is destruction, I would have said that a lot of the case definitely lead to it. Yeah, you've done a good, you'd immediately say, well, you've done a good job, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, uh, you know, there's a, there's a certain amount of the, the collection, I guess, with the ammo, but you're collecting stuff to destroy, yeah, so yeah. it's okay. Right? Um, so, so actually, the game, the game itself, I think, is is, is um, yeah, pretty consistent in, in, in pulling in the right direction. Okay, should we should we move on? I think so. um, I think that was our last game. That was our last game. Yep. Okay. In that case, we will be back shortly uh, with another video.